Esther Jesus. Welcome once again to the SSBA's virtual class for children. We are delighted to have you. And of course, our number one gift here is that we can connect from heart to heart with our beloved Master Jesus. Since he is our number one team leader, he leads the entire earth. Let us call on him to lead us in our lesson tonight, shall we? Yes, ready, set, and go. Let us pray. Beloved Master Jesus, thank you so, so, so very much for loving us to the point of inviting each and every one of us to be a part of your team. What a beautiful gift. And we love you, Master Jesus, because you have come to earth to teach us that all we need to do to be a part of your team is to love one another. Thank you, Master Jesus, for showing us with hearts of light at this time. And we ask you that you kindly please hold our hands as we learn to teamwork with you tonight and always. Thank you, Master Jesus, from our hearts to yours. And so be it. Yay! Thank you, Daisy, for the feedback. Thank you, Paloma. We made it. Jesus, our team leader, is incredible, invincible, loving, and caring for all of us. Thank you, Master Jesus, for leading the way in our virtual classroom and leading the way to our hearts always. So guys, are you ready now to really learn what great team Master Jesus has? And he really has a beautiful invitation for each and every one of you tonight. He wants you to be a part of his team too. Whoa, can you believe it? So let us get ready to join Master Jesus. After all, he is our best friend and our most loving team leader. Thank you, thank you, Master Jesus. We are ready to learn with you as always. And here we go. Guys, did you know, did you remember that 2000 years ago, Master Jesus already had a great team? Do you remember who was part of that team? His disciples, that's right. The disciples were friends whom he invited to live side by side with him and to learn from his loving examples. Tonight, he wants his team to get even bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. In fact, he wants the whole world to be part of his team, including you. Yes, of course. Of course we want to say to Master Jesus, we are in, right? But can you believe that there was one person that didn't want to be a part of his team? Whoa, unbelievable, right? His name was Judas. And the reason he really turned his back to Master Jesus was because he thought he could be number one. He thought he had a better plan than Master Jesus for loving everyone in the world. He thought that he was even better than Master Jesus. In fact, he competed with Master Jesus, and we know that it was because of his choices that Master Jesus ended up in the cross. 
how come right he chose to compete rather than teamwork that was the problem but it's okay because jesus even from the spiritual realm even more in the spiritual realm he shows us continuously that to teamwork is the way to go and how did he teamwork he teamworked by reaching out to everyone and seeing everyone as a part of his beloved family and by helping others instead of competing in fact master jesus never wanted to be number one he just wanted to lend everyone a helping hand go master jesus go no wonder he is our most beautiful master ever right friends so the question tonight coming not from us at the ssba but from everyone that follows master jesus and especially from master jesus himself can you hear it master jesus is telling you do you want to be a part of my team do you want to teamwork with jesus he is inviting you tonight he came to our virtual classroom especially to one of you to hug every one of you to remind you of how much you are loved and to invite you to be a part of his team so he's the one asking you again do you want to be a part of my team of course we do right so to get ourselves ready here's a question that we would like to think about how could we possibly teamwork with jesus in a situation like this mm. imagine we were in a sports competition and we ended up in second place or in third place mm. how can we deal with not being number one not winning the best position the best trophy not being number one and still team working how can we team work with jesus in a situation like this mm, good question for us to think about if you have a chance dear friends we would like to invite you to on a piece of paper either draw a face showing how you would respond to the situation as a team worker of jesus or write a word or a sentence to show how you would team work with jesus when in a situation where a friend of yours or someone you know or yourself does not get first place what happens when we don't get all of the attention how can we teamwork with our best teacher master jesus in a situation like this so once again please either write down or draw what you would do this is our training practice for joining master jesus yay so let us continue we dear friends at home at a later time would like to kindly invite you to oop, wait a second to watch a great cartoon miraculous have you heard of miraculous it is an awesome show ladybug is definitely definitely a follower team worker with jesus because she spends all her time helping others so go ladybug go jesus would say awesome team worker but in this episode we find out that max doesn't really know how to accept 
a difficult situation of not finding someone to play with him without feeling angry. So because he doesn't have a friend to play and he feels angry, he is uh, akumatized and he begins to fight with Ladybug. Do you guys think that he will learn to teamwork rather than compete? Mm, sounds like Max over here has a lot to learn with Master Jesus, but not to worry. He's a child of God too, so he will learn. So please kindly watch this cartoon at home, enjoy, and think about how Max, this character here, could learn how to teamwork a little bit better. Shall we, dear friends? So much fun, right? Lots and lots of fun for us. Absolutely. So now our dear Daisy will join us because this is a lesson on teamwork. Guess what? We are teamworking together. Hooray for teamwork. And here comes Miss Daisy. She's coming, I promise. Here she is. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Carol. Hi, everybody. How are Hi. you? Ready to teamwork with Jesus? I'm ready, Carol. Let's All do right. it. Hi, friends. Let's do it, huh? All right, so I'm going to disappear temporarily so you can teamwork with Jesus, all right, Miss Daisy? Sounds good, Carol. Ready to go. Enjoy teamworking with Jesus. Ready, set, and, and go. Okay, dear friends, so now after this beautiful introduction to this lecture we're gonna continue team working with jesus and now we invite you to join us in this task because did you know that we have a little camera like a, a webcam that jesus has watching us every day he's there looking for us but the interesting thing is that Everything that's recorded in that camera then goes to our book of life. We have, when we reincarnate, a blank book. It's open to us and it's up to us what we put on that book. So how you feel about writing that book right now with us? And we have been doing it in our lessons. So today we're going to continue. So tonight we ask you, what would you do in situations like this? In the first scenario, what would you do if you are playing a game with a friend, but you don't come in first place, you lose? How would you feel? Think about it. How would you feel in this situation? And how can you do to teamwork with Jesus? In our next scenario, well, you might be in a situation where your friends don't invite you to play with them. So what would you do? How could you do in this situation to teamwork with Jesus and think different, different than this friend right here in the picture? He's sad, he's down, but Jesus taught us always to be positive and thinking of the good. So how can you teamwork with Jesus in this situation? In our next scenario, well, Sometimes you want to play with your sister, your brother, your friend, but what if they don't want to share their toys with you? How can you teamwork with Jesus in this situation? Or maybe you are there in a classroom in our next scenario and the teacher decides to uh, maybe select someone else to 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 fulfill the task? What would you do that in this situation where the teachers ask someone else to, to answer a question? How can we teamwork with Jesus in this situation and not feeling negative, but thinking always has Jesus taught us on the positive, right? Giving everyone a chance, right? We don't need to be number one 
every time, right? In our next scenario, we want you to think, well, what if you're playing a game with a friend, but they want to play something else? So what would you do in this situation and how you can teamwork with Jesus or your friend? They wanted to switch. You want to play one game. They want to play another game. What would you do, friend? And lastly, if you are playing in a competition with friends, what if your team doesn't come in first place? What would you do and how can we teamwork with Jesus in this situation? So we have several scenarios, right? Things that happen every day to our lives where we lose a game, where someone asks, doesn't ask us to play with them, where we are asked to be understandable, sharing. So how can we teamwork with Jesus, right? How? We go through all the situations in life, but our friend Jesus taught us what we could do. The first thing that we can do in situations like this is to cheer up for others. We can just be happy to share and feel that we are there with one another. Like in this picture right here, in this beautiful garden of flowers, we could keep all the flowers for ourselves, but what if we choose to share the flowers with someone else to make someone else's day happier? What? Are you ready? Do you want to teamwork with Jesus? I think we can. In our the second thing that we can do is by doing to others what we would like to receive. So putting ourselves in the shoes of someone else. Like in this picture right here, if you're just learning to ride a bike, how would you feel? You wanted to have someone there teaching you and guiding you, right? So why don't we do that for others? So the second thing that we can do is by doing to others what we like to receive. The third thing that we can do to help be a team player with Jesus is to know that everyone is a child of God. Everyone is loved by God infinitely, and they should have the same opportunity that we do. And we ask you to play. Remember the song? I am a child of God. You are a child of God, right? So we are all children of God. And we have a four, four thing that we can do in order to teamwork with Jesus. We can help others. Yes, we can help starting at home with our parents, by helping them with the dishes, by in the morning making our beds, right? We can clean our rooms and it might seem so small, but we are helping so much our parents that way. So how we can do, how we can teamwork with Jesus. Jesus brought four things to us, but most important of all, friends, Jesus taught us a beautiful lesson when he was there. Remember the 12 disciples that we talked in the beginning, his teamwork? He was there with them and they were asking him questions. But he taught us most importantly by example. And he shows us the most important thing is to help and teamwork with others. That's what we should do. We are not going to be number one all the time, right? We should not compete. We should be there helping one another, as Jesus taught us, by washing the feet of his own disciples. So we hope that you can teamwork with Jesus and with us. And remember, the six scenarios that we talked about, you can write, you can draw, how you can teamwork with Jesus on those situations. So now I invite our friend Carol. She's going to come back and she's going to let us know what we can do this week to continue teamwork with Jesus, right? The six scenarios that we have here that we mentioned to you. Remember to do that. And Carol is going to talk about the beautiful hard work that we can do this week and this weekend. And we count on you, okay? And we can't wait to hear what you do doing your hard work. So 
Back to you, Carol. Thank Are you ready? Thank you, Daisy. I'm super ready. I super want to teamwork with Jesus. Yes. Go team Jesus. Go team yes. Jesus. Go team Jesus. Go. And the good news is, right, Daisy? We are all part of his team because everyone like you said is a child of god so how beautiful it is to know that we are all part of the same team the jesus team right daisy so that's go, right carol team jesus go yes. yay thank you daisy see you later so friends as as we, whoops, one second. Yes, we are back. So as Miss Daisy told us, we are learning to teamwork with Jesus. And the good news is he's inviting all of us to be part of his beautiful team. So let's practice teamworking with Jesus. Please choose, like Ms. Daisy said, one of the six scenarios, just one, and write or draw on one page of your book of life, the book that we have been building together. Choose one scenario and respond to the scenario, either by drawing how you would respond to the scenario or writing how you would respond to the scenario. And what is the question that Master Jesus is asking us? How can you teamwork with me in this situation? So pick a scenario, either the scenario here, when we lose a game, how can we teamwork with Jesus? Or when our friends are busy playing and don't have much time for us, like in the miraculous cartoon, how can we teamwork with Jesus? When somebody wants to play with our toys, how can we teamwork with Jesus here? When the teacher calls on someone else, what can we do to teamwork with Jesus? Or when someone wants to do the same game that we're doing, playing the same game that we're playing, how can we teamwork with Jesus? How about if we lose a competition? How can we teamwork with Jesus? Choose one of the scenarios and then write your answer to Jesus. How would you teamwork with him? You can either write or draw and then put that beautiful work on your book of life, right? In that way, Team Jesus will become stronger and stronger. Go Team Jesus! So now we are going to follow Jesus' example. What? We can follow his example now? Wow, amazing. He's really calling on us. So what can we do to follow Jesus' example? He is inviting us to cheer people up. Do you remember that this is one of the ways in which you can team up with Jesus? Yes, by cheering up, by being happy for others. How can we do that? We can send our artwork or our letters to people who are at the hospital right now. So they could smile, we can make their heart smile. Jesus, our master would like his love to spread all around. And like we said, like Miss Daisy and I said, he wants everyone to be a part of his team. So he's counting on you on every one of you to spread love. The more we spread love and cheer people up, bring them joy, the more the team will grow. And remember, the team will end up being the whole world. How can the team be that big? Whoa! By Master Jesus being able to count on your help. So why wait? Let's start now. We can mail our letters or artwork to this address here, Encompass Health Rehabilitation 
Hospital of Northern Virginia. And the address is right here, 24430 Mill Street Drive, Aldi, Virginia, 2105. Attention of Anna Hoven. Let's spread Jesus' love. He's counting on us. After all, we are now part of his team. Yay! Go team Jesus, go! Let us feel Jesus, Jesus hugging us now, right, friends? Let's go back to Jesus' whoop, beautiful hug here. Yes. Let us imagine now then that Master Jesus has come into our homes and is hugging us dearly, reminding us of how much he loves us. And he is at this moment opening his heart and showering us with little colorful hearts. He's also giving us some hearts in our hands. And he's asking us right now, dear friend, can you help me spread love around? Everywhere you go, can you give someone a little bit of my heart? Every time you smile, every time you have a happy thought, every time you think of others in a loving way, every time you share some of the beautiful things that you already know how to do with others to cheer them up, you are spreading love. I am counting on you, dear friend, says Master Jesus. And he's telling us a secret. He says, I will give you an endless supply of hearts because I will forever love you and forever love everyone whom you meet. Yay! Thank you, Master Jesus, for giving us so much love. We feel your love and your love feels good. Thank you, Master Jesus. Thank you for allowing us to be a beautiful part of your team. And so be it. Hooray. It feels so good, right, friends, to know that we too are part of Jesus' team. We are now officially teamworking with Master Jesus. Hooray! So we truly hope, dear friends, that you enjoyed teamworking with Jesus. And the good news is the teamworking never ends. So that means that Master Jesus will be by our side forever and ever, every day, as we spread love in his name always. Bye, dear friends. We hope you have a beautiful night, and Master Jesus will be with you every step of the way. Bye now.